yoga. You pull out your mat and get some water and get ready to relax and have fun. We are going to begin on our backs tonight. Or morning, whatever time of day this is for you. It's night time for me. Pick up your shoulders. Release them, flattening your back to the mat. Pick up your bottom, flatten it out. Let it sink into the floor. Let your feet fall out, up, open towards the sky. Let your hands and your palms open up. And start to take deep breaths. Make your breaths controlled as you inhale and exhale. Take one more deep breath, reaching your hands above you, pointing those toes. And exhale, releasing your shoulders back into the mat, letting your elbows fall, relaxing. Inhale, reaching, pointing, making yourself tall, stretching every vertebrae. And exhale. One more reach. Inhaling. And exhale, relaxing. Now bringing those knees up into your chest. Flattening out your spine on the mat. Pulling your tummy in. Preparing your body to think about that the entire workout. Flat tummy, flat spine. Pulling those knees into the chest. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. And now dropping your left leg to the mat. Reaching for that right knee. Pulling it around to the side and into your armpit. Inhale and exhale, pointing those toes, pinching that hip. And releasing that to the mat. Left knee is up. I'm pulling it out and into the body. Exhaling. Pointing those toes, inhale, pinching that left hip, and exhale, pulling, and releasing that foot to the mat. And now bringing your feet up and your knees up, Op open your hips, let your knees fall to the floor, take this where you can. Some people this is not a very comfortable position because we tend to get really tight in our hips. Just do what's comfortable. Keep those shoulders flat, chest open to the sky. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Take a couple deep breaths here. We begin to prepare your body to relax and work. As you're breathing, start to focus on your breath, um, feeling it in the back of your throat, coming deep in your lungs. And now bring those knees back together, and feet flat to the mat, hands to your side, flattening out your fingers, spreading them wide, flat on the mat, begin to Slowly arch your spine, lifting your bottom into a bridge position. You should be straight from your shoulders to your knees, squeezing your butt, squeezing your thighs, your lower back. Begin to warm those muscles up a little bit. Open that chest. Don't let your chin fall into your chest. Stay open. And keep breathing. Pull the tummy in. 
and release back to the mat one vertebrae at a time. And slowly arching back up, tipping that pelvis, pulling the tummy in, opening the chest, flattening out your back, squeezing all those muscles. And now you can clasp your hands together beneath you, roll open your chest and come up on your shoulders, reaching a little bit higher with your hips pushing them up to the sky. Keep those knees together. Don't let them splay out. <clears throat> and slowly releasing your shoulders and then one vertebrae at a time, rolling yourself out back on the mat. And let's do one more. And this time you can come into full wheel if you like, or you can stay in the first position and bridge or clasp your hands together, rolling, open your shoulders and your chest. If you want more, you can come into wheel. Bringing your hands up above your shoulders, fingers pointed towards your feet. Take a nice deep inhale, and on your exhale, lift up. Keeping your knees together as much as you can. Straightening out your arms if you can. And gently releasing yourself back to the mat, one vertebrae at a time. Oh, that felt good. And releasing your feet back to the mat. Let's roll onto our tummy. And start with some sun salutations. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders. We're going to start with Cobra. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Lift your body up, strengthening your low back, keeping your feet and your legs flat on the mat. Hands directly beneath your shoulders. Test yourself by lifting your hands to see what muscles are doing the work. It should be your back and your butt. If you feel yourself tense, take a deep breath and tell yourself to relax. And enjoy the pose. And now tuck your toes and bring yourself up into a down dog. First down dog of the day. I always feel so tight <coughs> when I try this the first time. You can walk out your legs, wag your tail, and move with your breath. Inhale up on your toes, and exhale sinking your heels together or one at a time. And exhale. Stepping your right leg forward to runner's lunge. And your left. Grab your big toes. Hang your head. Big toes standing forward bend. Inhale, reverse swan. All the way to high mountain slowly. You might feel yourself get a little bit dizzy. Just take it nice and easy. Inhale, exhale your right hand down to your side and tipping to the right with your left, reaching, reaching, keeping yourself in that plane between two walls. Push that left hip out to the left side. Inhale your right arm back up to the high mountain. Exhale the left hand, tipping to the left. Pushing those hips to the right. Take a couple breaths here and relax into the pose. And inhale back to high mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Keep your flat back flat. And inhale, monkey. 
Exhale, stepping your left leg back to runner's lunge. And your right leg back, dipping forward to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhaling, down dog. Inhale up on your toes, exhale, sink your heels. Inhale, bringing your left leg forward to runner's lunge. Keep that back leg straight. And bring the right heel forward. Right foot grabbing those big toes. Releasing the back. Stretching out your, the back of your thighs. Inhale, reverse swan. To high mountain. And exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. Flat back here. Exhale, right leg back to runner's lunge on the left side. And your left leg back, chaturanga, up dog, inhale. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg up in the air. Three-legged down dog. Keep those hips parallel. This isn't a contest to see how high you can reach your leg. Keep those hips parallel, stretching out the left leg. Deep stretch. And bring that right leg forward to runner's lunge. In your left. Grabbing those big toes, exhaling down, standing forward bend. Inhale, reverse swan. Bend those knees as you come up. And exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. And exhale, stepping your left leg back to runner's lunge. And your right. And coming back into down dog. Inhale up on your toes. And exhale your heels to the mat. Reaching that left leg up, three legged down dog. Keeping your hips parallel, stretching the right leg. Deep stretch. Swing that left leg forward between your hands and stepping forward with the right. Exhale, standing forward bend. Inhale, reverse swan to high mountain. Arching slightly, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. And exhale, you can step or jump back to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Now reaching your right leg up above you as high as you can, opening those hips. A little bit different stretch here. Squeezing your right butt. And swinging that leg forward between your hands and the left leg forward. Exhale, standing forward bend. Inhale, reverse swan. To high mountain, arching slightly. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga, well, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale that left leg up. Reaching high, pointing those toes, opening up the hip. Squeezing your left buttock. And swinging that left leg forward between your hands, right leg forward. Exhale, standing forward bend. Inhale, reverse swan to high mountain. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey. And step or jump back. Exhaling. Inhale, up dog. Arching. Exhale, down dog. And now raising that right leg, reaching, opening up that hip, bending your, your knee, bending at the knee. Open that hip a little bit more. You can stay here, or if you want more, you can tip over into one thing. Arching your body, reaching with that right hand. 
raising the hips. Feeling the stretch all the way on that right side. And coming back to three-legged down dog. And swinging forward to warrior one. Exhale, relaxing into the pose. Our side is the warrior one. We want to be up on your back foot. Heel is raised. Into high lunge. Stretching that left hip flexor. Keep that back leg straight. Inhale. Exhale, sinking. Testing your right thigh muscles. Spread those fingertips wide. Drop the shoulders. Reaching with your arms. Straight and strong. And releasing back to the mat. Right leg is back to down dog. Inhale your left leg up. Opening that hip, bending that at the knee. Opening, if you're ready, you can flip over here. Raising those hips, reaching with that left hand. Feeling the stretch on your left side. And coming back into three-legged down dog. And swinging that leg forward to high lunge. Raising those hands, inhale. Exhale, sinking. Back leg is straight. Fingertips are spread wide. Drop your shoulders. Good posture here. Chin is parallel to the floor. And releasing to the mat. Left leg is back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale your right leg up above you. And swinging it forward to high lunge. And dropping that back foot, opening up to, to warrior two. Relax those shoulders. Spread those arms wide. Fingertips are spread open. Your gaze is past your right fingertips. Inhale, reaching forward as far as you can. Exhale, arching back. You can use your back leg here, but don't push on your knee just as a support so you don't fall over. You can test yourself and drop that arm. <coughs> Pull your core in and make it strong. And swinging forward onto your right leg, right knee. Left arm is raised. Back leg is straight. Right leg should be about 90 degrees. Side angle. You can reach above your head with that left hand. Making a straight line from your fingertips to your toes, sinking those hips. You can drop that right arm if you like for a deeper stretch. And dropping that left hand to the mat, right leg is back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Left leg is up in the air, pointing those toes, reaching, and swinging it forward to high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sinking. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, sink. Drop those shoulders, spread those arms wide. Open up that right hip. And now reaching forward. As far as you can, and then dropping onto your left knee, right arm is raised. You can reach it with, with that right arm above you, straight line from fingertips to toes. And you can drop that left arm to the mat for a deeper stretch. 
Take this where you want to. Take a couple breaths here. And drop that right hand to the mat. Left leg is back, chaturanga. Inhale, up down. And exhale, down dog. And now is the time to take a breather, relax. You can go into child's pose and drink some water. I'm getting thirsty. <clears throat> if you're in child's pose, keep your eyes open. Don't let your body go to sleep yet. You're not finished. <sighs> Just enjoy the heat in your muscles, walk those fingers forward, foreheads to the mat, keeping those eyes open. Deep breaths here. Focus, find your strength. And coming forward onto all fours. And come into plank. And work your core a little bit. <clears throat> so when you're in plank position, you want straight arms, hands directly beneath your shoulders, toes beneath your heels, tummy is pulled in and you're flat, like a board, from your head to your heels. And you're squeezing everything. Now we're gonna to tip to our left side. If this is too much, you can drop that left knee and raise that right arm. You wanna be on a plane here. So pretend you're between two walls. And for more, you want to be both legs straight. Squeeze that left abdomen. Raise the hips slightly. Your shoulders should be above your right, your left hand. Take a couple breaths. Find your strength. And when you're ready, come back into plank position. And tip to the right. Right arm is directly beneath your shoulders. Stack your feet if you like. Raising those hips. Pull the tummy in and focus. Find those trouble spots and squeeze them tight. And drop that left hand back to the mat. We're going to stay in plank here. Do a, little, a couple crunches. Bring your right knee to your right elbow and back. Left knee to left elbow and back. We're crunching. The side of the abdomen. Keep your belly pulled in. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. And when you've had enough, you can drop those knees. Walk your feet and your hands slightly forward. Keeping your butt up in the air, stretch those shoulders. They worked hard. And coming back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up top. 
and exhale down dog. Right leg is up above, reaching, pointing those toes and swinging it forward between your hands. Left heel, hand, foot is forward. Exhale, standing forward bend. Inhale, reverse one. And exhale, hands to heart center. And we're gonna go come to the middle of our mat. We'll do some balance poses. Inhale your arms up. And exhale, swinging the right arm underneath the left, clasping your hands together. Straight, come into eagle, dropping those elbows slightly, pulling those shoulders open. And now you can cross the right leg over your left. Sink those hips, find your focus. Wrapping that foot around, pull the tummy in, and sink your butt back. Keeping good posture here, not slumping forward. And if you want to come into a more stretch, more strength, tip forward. Keep your gaze past your fingers. Test your balance. And slowly rise back up. Come to standing. Release those arms to heart center. Deep breath, exhaling it out. Inhale your arms up. And exhale left under the right, clasping the hands together. And come into eagle. back up when you're ready, releasing the hands to heart center. And that's it for balancing. We're going to start to cool down now, raising your hands up above you. Inhale, high mountain, reaching one last time, and exhale, swan dive. Grabbing those toes. Inhale, monkey, flat back. And exhale, pulling it in. You can straighten out your legs here if you can. The object is to get your, your stomach to your thighs. And inhale, monkey. Exhale, one more stretch. And slowly. Lowering your bottom to the mat. And come into our corpse pose. The most important move in yoga. And slowly lowering to the mat one vertebra at a time. <sighs> Letting it all go. Taking this moment for just you. If you've been distracted during your yoga practice, now is the time for no distractions. You need these couple minutes to completely relax and focus on those things that are important to you. Everything else can go. If you feel negative thoughts coming into your mind, gently push them away. This is your moment. breath comes back to normal. Enjoy the heat that you feel in your muscles and the peace you feel in your mind. Pick your shoulders up, open your chest and flatten back to the mat. Pick your bottom up and 
open your hips up to the sky. Let your feet open up. Let your toes fall out to the sides of the mat. Palms to the ceiling. Feel your body begin to melt into the earth. Relaxing your forehead, smoothing out the creases, releasing your eyes, relaxing them, relaxing your jaw, letting your tongue fall to the roof of your mouth, releasing your neck and your shoulders. above your head, reaching, pointing your toes, lengthening your spine one last time, and exhaling, letting your shoulders and your elbows drop. And now tipping forward to the left side, to a fetal position, letting your hands fall. up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed, staying in the moment, crossing your knees to whatever's comfortable, resting your hands on your knees and your thighs, and slowly bringing your hands to heart center, dropping your chin. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you feel great.